So FA, if you have three words to describe your experience with the menstrual cup, patient, comfortable, and patient. Oi, yeah. To anyone on the live stream, like Kanye came with a live beam. I got the buzz like I'm light. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is FA. For those that are new, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe for consistent content. Trying to get to 500 trying a little bit but anyway let's get to the video i'm going to talk about my experience with the menstrual cup i used it for five days and i bought mine from amazon because i value your time i'm going to break this video down into four sections so pick the one you want watch it all that'd be great that'd be lovely i've written notes so if i keep looking down if you see me dipping that's why so let's talk about the overall experience so before using it i had to clean it sterilize it so i let it sit in boiling hot water for seven minutes and when that was done cooled it off a little bit bish bash bosh went to the bathroom and i was going to insert it you can either squat lift your leg up and there's other positions that you can position your Yourself in to insert it. However, I chose a squatting method and I did squat over the bathroom. So, yeah, here's a cup, it's clean, relax. I squatted down in position and then I folded it like this. There are two different folding techniques, but I decided to go with this one. So, I folded it like this and then like this and then just inserted it into the vagina. And it did take a bit of fiddling and it was a little bit uncomfortable. I can't count. With tampons, just a quick insertion with the applicator. For me, when I was using this, I did compare it a lot to my experience with the tampon because that's what I normally use. But yeah, that's how I folded it. But once it was inserted, it was comfortable. Like, I didn't feel it at all. As you can tell by this clip yep just finished my workout so i'll update you guys on how that felt fine literally couldn't feel it at all completely normal as if i had nothing in just as if i wasn't on my period so that was a thumbs up and i like the fact if i'm comparing it to a tampon i like the fact that it didn't have a string anyway i'm gonna leave that to the pros and cons look at me getting ahead of myself back on track i think <sighs> Taking, taking this joint out of my vagina was a mission. It was a mission. It was a little bit traumatic, I can't lie. This thing didn't want to come out. This, it didn't want to come out. With, with the cup, with the cup, it has holes in. So once you insert it into the vagina, it like sucks it up, like it really grips on. So the suction is just holding it. You can imagine removing it was a bit of a mission. I even forgot to mention that it came with a stem, a longer stem. You can cut it depending on how your body's shaped. So some people cut it really short like me. Some people leave it long. When I decided to remove it, I was kind of thinking maybe I should have left it long so I could it would be easier for me to grip what I struggled most with was my finger positioning and how to grip it it was just very uncomfortable to sort of squat and these are my fingers and I'm squatting down and there's only so much when I tell you this thing went all the way up then bye yeah so it went all the way up and trying to grip it with my fingers first I recommended the technique of gripping it here and then maybe using these two fingers so it was a lot of fiddling, it was a lot of trying to grab it, it was very lubricated in there because of the discharge and obvious bodily fluids. Personally, I don't find it icky, I think it's just normal, I don't think girls should feel icky about their body parts. It ain't that bad, just wash your hands, just wash your hands. So right, it's your body, it's not gonna kill you. So comparing it to a tampon, a bit inconvenient, a bit very inconvenient to take out, it wasn't smooth, it wasn't, it wasn't a tug, it wasn't a pull, it wasn't very smooth. So yeah, it took a lot of getting used to. I was thinking maybe, because this is a pretty cheap cup, I was thinking maybe different cups are easier to remove maybe they're a bit more practical when it comes to removing it so I'm not too sure but this was my experience with this cup anyway what I noticed repeatedly happening so I sat with the cup in every morning taking it out literally took forever like I was on the verge of just screaming it was very frustrating I was getting very pissed off I don't know why it was so hard to just remove I'm not really sure but yeah it was a hassle but what I enjoyed about the cup was you did not feel it and you didn't have to change it a lot but I say after the third day I did get used to it I did get used to taking it out as you can tell by by this clip i was very excited i thought i could come and tell you because we're homies now so this is my second removal of the day of taking it out and this one went smoothly thank goodness i finally think i've got a technique that is a bit more smoother so i think it just depends on the day and my level of patience oh like to mention i did experience leakage on the first night or the morning that i woke up i think it was due after doing my little research it was due to the suction and how it wasn't inserted properly suction wasn't very secure i'll explain that later on in the video during the advice section about that how to avoid leakage and all that jazz but yeah that was my overall experience hey, so now we're going to move on to the advice section of the video first one that i would say is before inserting it let me show you demo so before inserting it make sure that the holes at the rim at the top of the cup are free of water this is how you avoid leakage yep i learned the hard way tiana please because the holes are used for the vacuum it's used to hold the cup in place that's all i know about that so on the topic of leakage to double check that your cup is placed in properly and it will avoid any leakage of the blood so once you folded it in sometimes it doesn't fully pop out so to double check that it's fully popped out you can fiddle around with the base of the cup so just make sure that there's no folds and it's just rounded properly and you can kind of feel it when you feel it you know maybe pull around the stem a little bit just make sure it just sucks in properly when you know you 
know. My third advice to you guys is make sure you play around with the different fold methods. So for me, I found it okay to fold it like this and like this and then insert it. But some people may have smaller holes or you know, different, different size vagina holes. So you can push it down like this. It's a bit, I don't know why I can't do this properly. So push it down here and fold it like that and say it. Go on YouTube and search people's ways of putting it in because you know, everyone has different bodies and you might relate to someone else more than I do. So if you find it hard to insert, you can lubricate it with water. And I'm pretty sure I heard on the video that you can use oil. There's a specific type of oil, but I'm just gonna say use water. It's there, accessible, you don't have to buy anything. So yeah, if you wanna lubricate it a bit more and help you insert it, use a bit of water and put it up there. But make sure the holes aren't covered. If it is your first time, I really highly recommend that you do it in the shower the first time or in the bath or over the toilet because it can get a bit messy when removing it because you're not going to be used to taking it out and stopping the blood from just falling. To avoid pain when taking it out because I did experience some discomfort, I did experience a little bit of pain when trying to take it out. To avoid that you press the base of the cup and then it should release the pressure and then it should be easier to take out. Also on that topic once you're pressing the base of the cup keep on pressing it and then take it out this will avoid spillage. My next tip is relax when you're taking it out just know that it does take time to remove it the first time and maybe inserting it for you I say relax don't panic if it's if you can't get a grip on it don't panic it will come out it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna swim up to your stomach it's staying put this stay input. Take your time with it. Don't stress out. You should be good. I heard some people's stories that it took them an hour to take out. Yeah, it gets like that. It does get like that. It really does get like that. I think the longest time it took me to remove it was about like five minutes. I was very pissed off. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. So the pros are that it lasts eight to 12 hours. So that means you don't have to take it out that often, depending on your flow. For me, I don't really have a heavy flow. I literally left it in for like 12 hours, took it out, and it wasn't even that much blood. You save money and less landfill waste. Saving the environment 2020. Menstrual cups don't dry your vagina, meaning it preserves the healthy bacteria needed to protect your vagina, your cooch, your new. As for tampons, it doesn't do that for you. Menstrual cups aren't associated with toxic shock syndrome. I'm sure you've heard horror stories about that. And the last pro is there's no odor. There's no odor. You're not gonna smell it when you're working out. You're not gonna get any whiffs. So it is a very good pro. Spread your legs in confidence. You can basically roam life without feeling that you're gonna stink that your, your cooch is stinking up the place. Gonna move on now, just, just gonna move on. I'm waffling, I'm a waffler if you don't know. So the cons, I'm pretty sure you can guess my cons. Think about them and I'm gonna say them now. If you got it right, congratulations to you. You've been listening. The removal is not quick. The removal is not quick. You really have to channel your patience. That was a very big con, as in I got very irritated by that. To sort of maybe overcome that problem, I'm going to, I'm gonna get used to it, first of all, and maybe try out different cups. And then the second con is taking it out in public could be very inconvenient. I wouldn't want to take it out in public. Luckily, I can have it in for like 12 hours, so I won't be out in public for that long. So I really only have to take it out in the comfort of my own home. And the last question is, would I use it again? And to you, I say yes, because I want to save my money. When I tell you I'm tired of paying for tampons, like I'm actually tired of paying for tampons. I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to firm this and I'm going to figure it out because tons of people figured it out, so I'm capable. So yes, I will be using this again. Maybe try out a different one. I think Luna Cup is a popular one. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I'm late for my workout day with my girlfriend. So I gotta go. I gotta leave you. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna. I ain't trying to force you. And I'll catch you in the next video.